Number six. Number nine, I think. Nine. Second go of asking it. Bucky Thistle edged out Lossy Mouth in round one, so Bucky Thistle a home tie for them. Number 32. Number 32 is Open Goal, Broom Hill, a big crowd at Broadwood to see them get past Brora on Friday. Mate, that's what I'm saying. See, once I was in school, mate, like, see, first year. See how you all go in the hall and you get separated uh, in the classes. The head teacher was shouting out like Brook, Brook, and all my pals like you're immature as fuck on pissing themselves, mate. I'm sitting there with a pure beams, eh, mate. <laughs> 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 my face is like that. <laughs> People are like that fucking warming up my face and all that. The most shocking room I know. I've got Callum Wilson. Aye, that's pretty cool. He'll just be on before he's bumped constantly. They'll be doing TikToks and that in your room. Are we dancing? <laughs> right, I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry, how much easier it would be for him to tell me what's to do with him? Yeah, it is. Jim Grant. Yeah, Jim Grant. Jim Grant. Jim Grant. Jim Grant. Jimmy. 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 Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Oh, well, the best thing I stand. I don't like the punch and shoot. No, it's nice to be nice. Soon as the ball just gets off his weight, he's getting it. Comes to your weight. Right? Nah. Sounds like a nice show, Zoom done. Cameo, we need to get body parts after him, man. Boy. Yeah, that's it. Ah, you're no kidding. 
Me is for Indian. What we said, bud? Dammy, what's the fine for an Indian on the bus? We <laughs> <laughs> die, I'm man. I knew I should have this. Did you not bring it in? Yeah, need I. Bad for looks like Indian. What is it? Hmm? What is it? Do you come a salad? Would you feed that your dog, brother? I, I just went, no. <laughs> <laughs> you probably saw me that. So? I love how big Sam's up the back of the sauce. Sauce. She's giving me a sauce. Sam's just going to say me sauce. She's obviously fucked. Well, you wonder how we came last every time that post was? I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah. At least it's rice, or if it's no fried, it'll be served. Ah, uh, boiled rice. Ah, we're now. I don't know, it's chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice. How's that sauce? <laughs> 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 that empty up the back, man. <laughs> 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 He finished the chicken and rice there, he he's fucking doing the back. Somebody said, somebody said, can I get a bit of diet coke or something? Because Conway said, I can't have it. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. 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 He's got Did she make that in the cafe? No, she made it this morning. Okay. I've texted her to send me a photo and she just know it's not an Indian. Mate, it's boiled oh, rice. Ah, <laughs> it's boiled rice. Hunters that sauce. Mate, do you know where it's just got hunters that sauce, mate? Mate, I was going to look at the sides. Mate, I was going to look at the sides. That's hard, man. Aye, that's hard. Leave it hard. Why all of that hang will be destroyed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to Aberdeen Altons, a hotel that I've used to stay in a lot, Peterhead. Uh, so it's about an hour for Elgin, for Bucky, where we're going to play. Uh, nice hotel, nice food, I know the food's nice, the boys will enjoy staying there, so we're going to go up there, stay. Some of the food selections that I've just seen have just blown my mind, but <coughs> um, that's all part of it. Kyle Semple's got a five litre bottle of uh, fresh orange juice, so I feel sorry for his brother who. His rooming one, he'll probably not be on, off the pan the full night, but um, Regan O'Sullivan's got a can of monster at half past seven in, at night, so I, I can't see him going to his bed anytime soon, but um, no, I'm looking forward to the morning. It's good to get, even, you just look up the back there and they're all standing up, talking to each other and getting a laugh, so it's good to do stuff like this and take them overnight and do it properly, so there's no excuses for the morning. I think we want to give ourselves the best possible chance of um, of getting through the next round. It's a tough tie, 100% bucky, so why make it even harder by travelling up four hours <coughs> the day of the game, give the boys the best possible opportunity to go and get a result because they deserve it, as I've said to you many times, the way they work, how, how much they put in it, how much they give us, I mean, we asked them to do a wee bit over the weekend and even the times they send back with their 5Ks, it's it's exceptional for kind of the level that we're at, so I feel like we need to give them something back because they give us so much, so, and obviously it's a chance to go and get a big draw in the next round where the championship teams and League One teams come in, so, Give yourself the best possible chance of getting through this through this round. I picked the rooms myself. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna designate it to Gary Fraser, but having guys pick the rooms, there would have been eight people in what the one room and seven rooms had been spare with guys. Um, so I picked the rooms and I kind of tried to put a lively character with a quiet or quiet let's just a uh, character let's just say. I didn't know when certain types going in with each other because I knew they'd be up to four o'clock in the morning on can Tinder or PlayStation or whatever. So. I've tried to get a good balance between the lively ones and the quieter ones going together. Are there any rooms that stand out? It's the Semple Brothers. They share a room in, in their house in Hamilton, so they've got, we make jokes that they've got bunk beds um, and that they've asked to put their bed, the two single beds on top of each other the night in the Altons. But uh, as you can see with Sem Kyle Semple, he's five litre bottle, bottle of orange juice. It, gives, it actually gives me the fear to think about they get up to in that, that bedroom. I compare that with Beavis and Butthead. Um, so, I've no doubt they'll have their PlayStation in their bag and they'll sit and play that till, till all of us. But as long as they're happy and as long as they're, com I, I think boys being comfortable as well is a massive thing. So, uh, any other rooms that would worry us, Regan O'Sullivan and Gaz Fraser together, a mastermind will definitely not be on the t on the telly. Um, be like Jordy Shore or someone they'll be watching. Uh, 
other than that, I'm quite relaxed about everyone else. Um, the funnier one as well is Jim Lowe, the goalie coach as well, Gibbo. So a coach and a player, I don't know how that dynamic will work, but um, Dale and Slaney together, that'll be, a, that'll be full of carry on. But um, they're all great boys, so I could have put I could have put one in with anybody and they would all, I'd have been completely fine with, with whoever ended up together. So I'm just hoping that there's no final alarm going off at three o'clock in the morning or the police on the phone. That's my that's my only fear, but I'm, I've no doubt. But you see it in them, they're so determined to do well. So I, I've, I've not even got a worry I need to tell them to be in their beds at a certain time. They're grown men, they can... I trust them completely to go and, go and do the right things. You've got a pair of cookies, aye? Eh? My doggies on and off. <laughs> mate, that hurts so much. Jemba, Jemba. <laughs> mate, the wincy's coming, mate. That's a good idea. Mate, the wincy's coming, mate. That's a good idea, bro. Mate, what do you think I should get, like, fucking... The king emoji? King? Why the king? Because I'm the daddy. Nah. <laughs> but you'll need to get Disney princesses or something, eh? Mate, I generally make a Spider-Man, I quite like Spider-Man. Yeah. Mate, Marvel? Marvel, mate. Should we go get a couple of them? Love a comic, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mate, that's my guilty pleasure, cinema, mate. Like cinema? Oh, we popcorn fairly, we ice Who's blast fairly. Uh, Thor. Thor. Thor, Thor, mate. Ah, that's weird, mate. Thor, mate. I'm Captain a geek, America. Eh? We're Iron Man. Captain America's Terry's, ah, mate. Iron Man's good, mate. Oh, he's Terry's an army. What? Ah, Iron Man's he's just shooting his fucking lasers, mate. <laughs> mate. He's just a mechanic, mate. That's all he is, mate. I could do his job. Mate, he's just a mechanic, mate. Mate, he can, he can, he can get jetpacks and shit. It's all about... Thor's absolute packing, mate. Aye, mate. mate, big guns, mate, and he's got a hammer, mate. He's got biceps like your dad. I'll tell you who's the worst, though, Doctor Strange, eh? Oh, he's, 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 he's got to go. <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Strange has got to go, mate. Who's the guy that does all this and then um, fucking mate, bells? Strange, nah, he's be apprentice. <laughs> Free seven. Come on, I'm here. Seven or seven. Yeah, lads. Room service is free. Who's that, lads? Brandon George's name. Is that ice, brother? Let's go. Yes. Get in here for me, please. Where are we? Right now, two, three, three. I think I've Trick for us is to avoid the, the rooms that you don't want to be next to, so you've got a bit of luck with the room roulette. Aye, that's so it. Aye. Stay Gary Fraser, nah. Regan. I've shared the room. That's not a good start. Shared the room with Gary before and sits up to four in the morning watching YouTube videos full volume, the earphones not on, so. And then he'll look at Do you I share with him? You're on the wrong for looking at it four in the morning and sitting on the phone like this. Aye. He doesn't sleep or something. Nah, he sleeps for about an hour. Like. He drinks Red Bull and that and he'll be up in the bus, eh? so <laughs> you've got no chance. It's a, it's a brilliant hotel to be able to do, like. Aye. It serves its purpose, it's really good like that. Man. I think it's still a bit away, but I think the hotel's closer one day is good, si as I was saying. So you better get a good hotel and you leash it up this way anyway. Not much travelling up in the morning, man. I feel tired. I actually said to the boys I didn't realise there was another round in November. I'm used to coming in in January. <laughs> uh, so three rounds before normally I would come in. Uh, it's actually quite good. Um, if you look at the, our draws though, this season has probably been, probably you would say, two of the hardest draws we could have got. Two of the probably the top three teams in the Highland League, um, especially coming up here for this one makes it doubly hard. Uh, their home pitch, so it's it's been good. It's been different. Um, it's been good here to come away with the boys and actually get to know them a wee bit better. Um, obviously, I travel way even up for Ayrshire, but just when you're in with the boys for half an hour, then you train and then you go home. You're not actually getting to meet everybody's personality, so. I think it's good for the group and it'll be good for boys to get to know 
boys in a, a, a different level. I know it's good. Like, um, obviously, I've learnt so much from his experience, um, even just travelling up. And yeah, pissed at life at him yeah. with, with questions with things. Which uh, is good. I, you know, just trying to learn wee bits here and there, even just from my pre-match and uh, how to prepare away for the game and uh, things to do during the week and things like that. So uh, I've tried to take as much of that on board as I can. And obviously, like things like this, with playing part-time football most of the time, or well, all of my career, um, I've not really experienced being away as such. Maybe when I was younger, like through the youth academies, you went away here and there, but um, I've not done it for ages. So, see, Scottish Cup's been Norman kind to me because I actually played every round at every minute to the cup final at Rangers, and then the manager dropped me. Uh, so, which was a bit harsh. And then I think it was the year after, two years after, done the same. So got to the final and then get dropped again. Uh, so apart from that, it's, it's, it's been okay. I think this is now my 22nd season playing professional football. So I've made my debut in the Scottish Cup at 17. So it's recent month. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a good cup. Everybody loves it. I think you get bigger crowds, like maybe f fans of teams who don't really Go to every game, definitely come for the Scottish Cup. Scottish Cup, probably the lower league teams get bigger crowds that I find. Uh, so I work in the schools, so I've got uh, five primary schools and one secondary school, um, and it's family learning, so it's getting um, all the families involved in their child's learning. Um, so it's to do with areas of deprivation, uh, so families that are kind of struggling with uh, certain things we put programmes on for them to engage them with the school work. I've always kind of found football as an escapism from everything to be honest. Um, not that I need escape from my uh, daily life to be honest but um, I just you go into this football mindset of where you love what you do and um, uh, for me it's, it's the best thing to get away to to be honest. Um, but no like it can be difficult getting away obviously with the schools because it's set times and things but um, as I say like this week's the the schools are off anyway, so it was, it was pretty easy to get away for the game. Uh, I think I was sleeping I first. I think you were sleeping first. I had my eye mask on, but get a beauty sleep. Aye, that's bad. And he, he warned me during the week as well. He said, just so you don't slag me off, I wear an eye mask to bed. They got that one in quite early doors. When I'm in the house, I always have an eye mask. I need complete darkness, eh? Need it. We did a good runner here a couple of years ago. Got to think it was a fourth round, played against Hibs. Um, last year, we didn't we didn't do so. I think we were out maybe the first round last year and similar the year before, but I've kind of mixed bag, to be honest with you. Um, I've only I've only played maybe two Scottish Cups now, so this will be my third. I think maybe reached third round every time, so I've we've not done too good to the first. So I think you could probably look at the, the two games we've had and for the the rounds we're at, it's probably two of the most difficult ties you could have got in terms of some of the teams. So already you kind of see the the magnitude of some of the opposition, but of course you you do start to kind of have a wee think when you're playing at this level. Of, what the next couple of rounds look like if you get there, I think, and looking forward to some hopefully some bigger ties. That's why you you play the game in it to get the kind of the good days and and enjoy them. So obviously, it's good to that all the boys are. He's brought all the boys in to play with their feet, so uh, that makes it easier for me and Barzo. Um But I've always put I've, I've always played out for the back for the teams I've been with pre previously. So I find coming in, it's. It's easy. It's easy enough. Like easy enough to do. Mm. But uh, so. I'd say probably what is good about it is I think I've been playing managers in the past where I've still asked you to play from the back, but it's kind of just like you're left to your own devices to do it, or your goalie's left to your own devices. That I'd say it's kind of size treats us as a big part of his style and how he plays, and they'll try and coach you on that and tell you what your options are and what the rotations are and stuff. And that helps you kind of. I'm not saying you're scripted what you're going to do when you go on the pitch, but you almost know kind of what's expected and where the ball wants to go and stuff like that, which is good. You feel included as part of the playing group with that kind of style. Cool holidays for me, it's a canter. I was sitting about all day yesterday. Uh, well, I will. I work with my dad, so uh, he just he says you can go whatever time you need. So it's, I, I think we're lucky at this. So. So, I, I, so he was doing a bit of work in my girlfriend's house the past couple of weeks, uh -huh. and I kept trying to pop up after work and grab him. Like I'll see him before he goes. Never. Nah, yeah, exactly. Let's just clock off uh -huh. before three o'clock every day. Uh -huh. Thank you.
It's fucked that. Ah, sure. I'm going to drink it. Working. How did you sleep? Absolutely fantastic. I had a crack sleep last night. Yeah. In a single bed. It was absolutely fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in a room on your own? Me and Regan. Regan's in a toilet at the new button. So he's up there, he's up there potting a brow. <laughs> Get that on the documentary. <laughs> he's nearly choking that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I think the gaffer just picked the rooms, just said, oh, so it's the two smartest. So me and Regan were the two smartest. You got the shots throw, didn't you? And it came in what? Shots throw. Don't know what that means, but I get the shots throw. They two were in. Imagine putting the light on me, they two were in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good looking room. Terrible. But I thought Halloween came well when I walked out. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Beckham. <laughs> what? what? Big Beckham. <laughs> Beckham? Beckham? Or maybe it's just sleeping. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was quite slow. Are you texting the missus? No, I'm not. Is she watching him today? I don't know. We'll see. We're not very good at technology or farming, so we don't really know how to. Can you just go to Bucky's website and it comes up? They tell me, Peter Head, uh, we used to stay here on a Friday night. Uh, but it's still roasting that. It's roasting in here. <laughs> what if I wake up this winter? Is that a hot one? <laughs> what about they two? I'll be quite happy not to chat for too much. Man. What about Dumb and Dumber what they give them? <laughs> <laughs> dumb and Dumber? <laughs> that's, that's ironic mate. So I could become Dumb and Dumber when it's payday mate, so that's up to you. <laughs> I want to die, George is alright. But it's no pay day. Cheers, sweetheart. I had to go to the other side. Yes. No, no, I think so, yeah. Tucked him over the ceiling and my bed tucked in. <laughs> Full chair, Kelly and house. Who's your, who's your suspect? Cammy, yeah, was it up your seat? Guys, guys are Cammy. Get a court case up! Aye, case on the bus, guys. Yeah, case on the bus. Fergus up with my car and it doesn't work. We get back, didn't get the keys to my house. Don't mind that. Why are you doing it? Suspects. Suspects. Guys is in up there. Guys is right up there. Cammy's up there. Half of Cammy's up there. I don't know if he's going to. Last time the bus went for a sauna, steamy. I don't know. I will go there for any time. Hey, if you like a little bit, I'll give you a little bit of a show. I'm going to take it. I'm going to for you, all right? Oh, 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 I'm too good. I see you. I'm too good. Good luck. 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 Good
You try to give people a fright. Yes, let's go in, lads. Yes, let's go, lads. I need to go. Come on, boy! Thanks, Diggy. Don't give up the name for that. I'm going to give you a stick to that. I'm going to give Okay, when you're coming up here, you need to look good. Wait, representing the company, you know? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Representing me.
Yes, boys, listen, ready to work now, okay? Fucking big game. So, Devin Goals, James Grant, Brothers, Cookie, Conroy, Gaz, Aiden, Brock, Matty, Callum, and Simps. From the start, lads, get after them. Do not give them a fucking second. A big part of it, I watched the Cali Braves first half back again. Too many times, some of these called break game, we've seen it quicker against Cali Braves. Semps cannot be fucking running across two centre backs himself. As soon as Semps goes to one centre back, Brock, you're in the fucking opposite one, five yards from him. Right. If it goes to that centre back, Brock, attack, fucking get the ball back. Don't worry about showing him one side or the other side, just go to get the, the ball back. Wherever that goes, you stay in the middle, we react to that. If it goes to the full back, you shuffle across. Cookie Brothers, you react to that as well. If it goes wide, um, James Grant's up, Brothers is over, Cookie's over, Conroy's in. From the kickoff, Semps, where are we showing them? Right, right side the centre back. Again, Semps, go fucking straight for him. Try and get that ball back. Cal, stop the pass into the, the wide player coming off the side, let it go to the full back, and then we're fucking in for there. So, in terms of the game, lads, when I first met every single one of our staff as well, players, I told you I wanted this to be a year that we'll fucking remember forever. Scottish Cup's a massive part of that, lads. We all deserve to go to a fucking big stadium, take on big teams, and try and fucking beat them. Two minutes! And try and beat them, lads. We deserve it because of the way we fucking work, how hard everyone in here works and the people that we are. But only you can do it lads. It's up to you now. Out on that pitch, it's up to you. It's a big fucking responsibility. But it's a good responsibility lads because you are more than fucking capable. We've got so much belief in you boys, honestly. Only you can give us the feeling of going back on that bus fucking dancing, singing. The feeling of sitting them up tomorrow, waiting to see who we get in the draw. You can do it lads. It's a great responsibility because you're more than fucking capable. You're better than these lads. They can fight, but we can fucking fight now. Maybe two months ago we couldn't have, but now we can fucking fight. What they can't do, lads, is what we can do, is run like fuck and play. So from the start, maximum intensity in our running, maximum bravery in our play. If we do that, lads, we are sitting in the next fucking round, I promise you. Let's fucking go. <laughs>
Thank you, Alpha. Say the dragon up. I've got a score for him. I'm doing it well. Oh, you've like them then. Don't come voice. Please, Triple E. Don't talk to each other at the fucking one. Don't talk to each other. Don't talk to each other. Everybody. Yes, everybody. Us 10 minutes more than fuck, but I understand lads, I've been here travelling, fucking staying up, cut start the game, they started quick, fair play to them. Main thing is lads, fucking excellent though, you can hear it for And then after that lads, that's us, it's us lads, again bro, you've been fucking excellent. We need to keep, more than we need to do now, sorry lads, is with 10 minutes, we need to go back to what we were, we are. Right. Put wide players, stay high and wide to start with, keep the bit pitch as big as possible. It's here for us lads, just play simple football. What we are fucking good at. If it needs to go back to Div, it goes back to Div. Goes to the other side, the brothers, James, they'll, we'll get out eventually, but don't rush it. Don't make the pitch fucking compact and don't rush the game and we win this lads. Our time will come. We'll try to force it too much, rush it too much. Relax, calm, we've done the hard bit. We've done the fucking hustle and bustle. It's now time for calm heads, make good decisions and when we get in that final third, front players, go and you take the responsibility, go net players and get shots and crosses at goal. Alright? Well done, lads. Come on, it's here for us. Let's go. Anybody who's in Do not get sent off. Alright, there are
Some unbelievable memories. Only been fucking what three months ago, lads. I told you, you can take it fucking anywhere. Just to say, I love every single one of you. Your character's fucking unbelievable. Well done. <laughs> Wild. My head's actually splitting. Eh? Every after every game, my head's splitting. But again, it was another great game. I think every game we're involved in is kind of end to end, and loads of goals, loads of chances. Uh, but again, I'm just so proud of the boys. Honestly, it's like they just keep they keep surpassing what you think. Because I honestly worried. I said I worried about coming up here. I looked at their record, and they didn't lose a lot of games at home. Um, and they've got this sort of siege mentality here, as you see on the bench, so we had to kind of rise to that. So even my bench had to be at their best today, because I said, don't let them bully us on the side, don't let them bully the ref, so it was a kind of all-round performance for players and staff. Um, it's quite the song mm -hmm. coming already. The love song and all this. Oh, that's what I'm saying. They, they, they boys, are, I've got so much, I just said to them there, I'm so proud to be their manager, because they gave me that. And listen, we weren't a great, we've still got to get better. There's things I see today that we still need to get better. We made a lot of bad decisions, but what I can never, never label them as their character or their how hard they work for me. And they gave me absolute everything, uh, and they're getting the results for it. And they deserve everything they get to do. No me, no the, no the staff. The players deserve everything that they get because they're a great, great bunch. I'd love a home tie to be honest with you. I would love a home tie. I love playing at Broadwood. I'd love a big crowd in the Scottish Cup. 
I think the Brora game was the first round, it was over a thousand, wasn't it? So I think if we were to get a good, not a good, sorry, they're a good club, but I mean like a big club, a higher, a club higher up uh, at home, I think that, I think Brod would be, would be absolutely jumping. Again, I would, I'm not being arrogant, but I would fancy the boys against anyone in the, in the draw, so I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. I'm quite strict to them in terms of how we train and what they give me, but you need to enjoy moments like this, because I've said to you before, we have had a lot lately, but I've no doubt if we take our foot off the gas, That'll go that way quickly, so you need to enjoy it while you can at the right times. No, got a game Tuesday, so we'll stop at a bus that can get uh, bottles of wine, whatever they want. It's a long way back. That is a long way, it's four hours. <laughs> you managed it last night, didn't you? How long were you drinking for 10 hours? You were on the drink for. Yeah. And right. you still managed to come and be professional. How did you feel getting called? What was it, camera wankers? Uh, camera. Camera. Right, so there you go, that was kind of. But I loved that whole thing. A guy stood there and abused me for 90 minutes, and not once did I even turn around and look at him, so. Getting a wee bit better in terms of that as well. But Slaney was getting it as well. <laughs> Did you hear the abuse he was getting? Oh my god, constant. What a day, another great day uh, with the Open Goldburn Hill, so. Because the game's too easy for me. I really don't think you're strong enough, no. 
Number 29. Number 29 is open goal Broomhill beat Bucky at the weekend. Number three. So a home tie against number three, Alloa Athletic. Got to the fourth round last season before losing to Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> 